1974 saw the completion of transition to the soft bumpers. With the new body color rear bumpers, the urethane plastic skin had, had built-in recesses for the license plates, taillights, and vertical center seam, divided the two main sections. The split bumper is unique to 1974's later years, later years were one piece without the seam. The skin covered an aluminum impact bar mounted on two telescopic brake brackets. This beautiful 1974 it is one of our value vets. Um, the paint is a little bit older, showing a little bit of wear. Uh, the pinstriping has been added. And as you can see, this is one of the spots here um, that the paint is just starting to do a little bubbling. So hence our value vet. The car runs and drives beautifully, no issues. Our caps and bands are in very good shape. This is an automatic car. Numbers matching, 350 L48, 190 horsepower car. Interior wise on the car does have the saddle interior. We'll notice that the seats are a little bit older There is some ripping in the passenger or driver's seat here And there again, uh, I get asked a lot why I value that that would be reason uh, it would be cosmetic on this one carpet looks to be original to the car These are great running driving cars a lot of fun for just tooling around on a beautiful sunny day Definitely won't break the bank. Folks, as always, if you'd like to make an appointment to see this or any of the hundreds of Corvettes I have in stock, 770-605-2056 or email john at buyavet.net. As always, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see all this fun new stuff first. And we'll look forward to seeing you all out on the road.